Hi, this is Andrew Gibbons, and we're going to look at a little bit of anatomy and function of the foot so you can understand how it contributes to your posture and your movement and your well-being. Um, the most interesting thing that people find when they first look at the foot, and especially the heel is what we're going to concentrate on today, is you'll notice that the, the point of contact that the heel makes with the ground, here we're looking at it from the, from the side, this is a left foot, the point of contact that the heel makes is actually behind the shaft of the leg. Yeah? It's not in front or directly underneath. It's behind. And that's for a very good reason. It, it makes it harder to fall backwards when you have something around uh, behind you. But for some people, this is, a, this is actually kind of startling to realize that the heel doesn't stand directly underneath the shaft of the leg, but it, that it sits behind. And so the next question is usually, well, what part of the heel is directly underneath the leg? And we're going to change the orientation of the foot in a moment, but I just want you to see it from the side. Can you see this particular part of the heel here, this little, this little lip right along through here? This is actually part of this huge bone here, the calcaneus. And if we look at it from the from the back, I'll slowly turn it, you can see how not only is, is the heel not really directly underneath the leg, when you look at it from the side, but it's also, it's not directly underneath the shaft when you look at it from the back. Yeah? A big mass of the, a big part of the mass of the heel is actually, it seems to almost look like it's a little bit off to the side or between the two bones of the lower leg. Now, in truth, of course, the, the foot moves and it's designed to, to turn and twist this way and that to accommodate different kinds of positions of your leg. But the main thing here is just to be able to see that this, this little ledge here, this little ledge is really sitting directly underneath the shaft of this weight-bearing portion of the, of the lower leg. That's your shin bone. It's called the tibia. And so now that we've seen it from the, from the side, there it is again, right there and you've seen it from the back, let's take a look at it from, from the bottom. Yeah. So you, now you can kind of see how if you were looking up from the very bottom of the foot and you were looking to see how, because you want the, the forces, the ground forces that, that lift up through the body when you, when you stand and when you move, the ground forces have to pass longitudinal the leg if they're going to do you any good. And so it's, it's nice to know how, how to aim, you know? And again, once again, here's, that, here's that, little, that little ledge there. And it's so funny that this is, the, this is the part of the heel that's actually directly under the weight of the leg. This is the point that's maybe touching the ground, but this is the part that's snugged up underneath your ankle and up underneath the, the shaft of the lower leg. Now, the... Um, the anatomy books, some of the anatomy books that I have, they're written in England, they refer to this as a stout little ledge. Yeah? The, the Latin name is, it's called the sustentaculum talus, because this, this little ledge here sits underneath this here, this is the ankle bone, it's also called the talus, and so this little ledge sits snugged up underneath the talus, so that the foot can glide forward and back underneath as you take a step and do all kinds of different things with your with your with yourself. But the idea is that the support of that ledge has to maintain its integrity no matter what you do. And the problem is is that most of us don't have any training. So we don't really know that this this exists. This stuff is hidden all inside unless somebody shows it to you. And so for a lot of people they have the tendency that as they come onto their foot they do something called pronate, or they have what, what is commonly referred to as flat feet. And when we pronate, we tend to stand so that the weight of the body is falling a little bit more towards the inside edge of the foot. So that's a lot of body weight coming down and shearing across the axis. And it causes problems, it causes strain, it causes irritation, inflammation to the muscles in the bottom of the foot creates problems in the spine, etc. But it's just important to understand that when that pronation is taking place, 
this little ledge here is actually falling down out from underneath the leg and the body weight of course is cascading on top of it and that's a really inefficient way to find stability in standing. It doesn't allow you to move very easily. So this ledge is just an important landmark to understand when you're when you're starting to explore using awareness through movement lessons or even, even if you're just standing waiting for the waiting for your train or your bus in the morning uh, that while the point of support on the ground is back here the internal place where the heel connects and supports up underneath the leg is actually much farther forward and it can be a really useful thing to know about this and to be able to use it. The way I have some clients practice is I, I tell them to imagine that sitting right underneath this part of the foot is a is a is a blueberry. You know, imagine you have a blueberry sitting right underneath here, and instead of walking in such a way that you you crush the blueberry or you squeeze the blueberry, you try to stand in such a way that you you keep a little bit of a lift up under there, and that way you stay off the blueberry. And of course, in awareness through movement, you have lots of ways of using that sensation to help build a much cleaner lift through the leg so you understand how to keep your back supported no matter what you're doing. Okay, so that's all for today. Just an initial look into the, and the function of the heel and a little bit of an understanding of what this, whoop, something fell, <laughs> what this stout little ledge can do for you once you know about it. Okay, thanks very much.